Welcome everybody, Crypto Snitch here, and today we're going to reveal a little bit more about the Strong Block community and some of the cool things that are going on with that um, that they've got coming up here. So there's been a lot of questions lately about the Polygon nodes and some of the Ether mining and uh, the different things that have been released. So today I just wanted to address some of those and we'll go ahead and kick that off first. Okay, so to begin, let's just go ahead and talk about what has happened recently. So to recap, I made another video on this, but Polygon nodes and the Service 2.0 have been released on the Strong block community. And essentially what that means, we, we originally started with the Ethereum 1 um, and the purpose for creating a Service 2 contract was originally uh, born through the inception to expand their blockchain validation process so that they include other protocols and now they have done that they've introduced a couple different ones and polygon nodes was the most recent one that was released and so a lot of people are jumping into that and that's where some of those questions are starting to come up so the e 2.0 um, service contract again Really what that was is the sustainability for this strong block community and the sustainability of this project. And it was to allow the earnings to expand and allow really just the ability to test a lot of different node types and the contribution reward and the reward types within the smart, the smart contracts that they've created. So it's cool because it's starting to opening up a, a whole lot other you know options for our smart nodes that we can create. And that's what makes this project so exciting and I really enjoy being a part of that. Okay, so let's go ahead and just break down then um, what some of those, those perks are. We are going to be migrated into the Service 2.0 contract very soon and there's going to be um, incentives to get there. They haven't released yet what those incentives will be so as soon as we get any word I'll keep you guys updated. So stay tuned and look for those. But in the meantime, let's just talk about those Polygon nodes and a lot of the questions that are starting to come up. Okay, so the biggest question that everybody is asking right now is, hey, why should I go ahead and create a Polygon node when there's literally no difference that they can see between creating the Ethereum old node on the Service 1 contract and then the Polygon node on the 2.0? Reason being is that when you create the Polygon node, you still require 10 strong tokens, and then it rewards you in strong tokens as well. So at first glance, there's not really a whole lot of difference between what you need to create the Polygon node and the rewards that you get back in the Polygon nodes. So why create a Polygon node? Well, let's just start off with, I think the first biggest thing to look at is the rewards. The distribution rate right now for a Polygon node is actually accumulating faster than what the old Ethereum 1.0 strong nodes are accumulating. And this isn't necessarily related to the NFT metal stake that is required in order to create the Polygon node. Now, for example, what that means is we are seeing people in the community who are getting who have staked NFT metal nodes on their old strong block Ethereum 1.0 service contracts, and then they have created a new Polygon node, and the rewards on the Polygon node are accumulating faster than having their old Ethereum 1.0 strong nodes, even though they have the, the staked NFT along with that boosting their rewards. So the number that we're hearing, again, I don't have a Polygon node, so these are the numbers that I'm, I'm getting from the Discord and from the community, from people who are out there and, and have created these Polygon nodes. They're showing that a, approximately 0.125 strong node or strong is being accumulated per Polygon node. And uh, the other number that we're getting is about 0.2561 in 48 hours. So that is higher. Normally on the old strong nodes, you're getting about 0.09 and some change. And sometimes it'll go up to about 0 0.1 um, with the older nodes. So you are getting rewards faster, which means your payback will also happen quicker. And as of right now, the, the whole crypto market is kind of fluctuating with the price. This does happen and it's totally expected in this world. We, we tend to go through some ups, we tend to go through some downs. So um, today, the last couple of days, there's, there's been some dips and some ups and some downs. 
So I think it's always important to try and recoup the, the cost of your investment as quickly as possible. So in this case, it would make sense then if you had the Polygon and had a Meta, Metal NFT node to go ahead and justify the cost and create the NFT node as opposed to you know, one of the older nodes just to accumulate the rewards and get the return on your investment at a faster rate than if you'd created on the older node. The second perk for creating a Polygon node is that the Polygon node holders will eventually be able to create new Polygon nodes without having to claim their rewards and save on the gas fees. So why is that so important? If, if any of you have gone in there and looked at the Ethereum gas fees right now, they are just insane. When, when you try to claim on your rewards, people are paying anywhere from $190 to $200 per claim in just Ethereum gas. So that's pretty high if you ask me. And then the ability to be able to claim those rewards and create a new, a new node without having to pay you know, an additional 200 bucks, that's a pretty big deal. And that will be because of the new contract, because they are on the Service 2.0 contract, that that perk is, is available for that and that will be released very soon. So that's just one of the things, those are the two, the two positives that I have found um, for the Polygon nodes. And then eventually there is still the teasers out there. And I'm not gonna say that this is fact yet until we actually see it come to place, but there are still teasers that the strong community would like to see rewards eventually in some of the other tokens. So in this example, the Polygon node, they would like to see rewards in Polygon or Matic, um, formerly known. And that would be really great to see because then you can start accumulating your bags and other types of crypto um, tokens and really just spreading out your, your, your volatility so that it isn't such an impact if something happens to the strong token uh, per se, which hopefully doesn't ever happen. There's a lot of good things that they are putting out there to, to try to protect the price of, of strong. But at the end of the day, the market is always volatile and we're always at the mercy of you know what someone will pay to to recoup the what you know we only pay what <laughs> what someone thinks that token is worth now because the token strong token is going to be limited in supply i do believe that there should always at least be some type of demand for the strong token whereas a lot of the other projects out there that try to create a fork off of the strong or you know go into the same idea of like hey you can you know create this node and generate income Strong at least has the ability to say, hey, there is a limited supply out there and um, they are rewarded for validating the different um, chains out there that they're working on with their nodes. Okay, so the next question that we're getting is when will those that don't hold the metal NFT be able to open and create their own Polygon nodes? And the answer to that is it's coming in the next couple weeks the strong community has said that they believe that this should be early January. Some have mentioned that it'd be about approximately five weeks, mid-January, but the strong community has come back and said they see something closer to three weeks. So hang in there, um, save some save some money and get some, you know, whatever you need to do to buy some strong. It looks like there's, there's a little bit of a dip um, happening right now across the crypto board. So this might be a great time to buy in. Tough to say if it'll go up or go down any further, but it never hurts to, to buy the dips you know, in my, per my personal opinion. So great time to, to go into that and get your bags ready. But three weeks is about when we should expect to see your early January. It opened up to the remaining community for anyone not holding an NFT to be able to create the Polygon node. The next question has to do with the rewards decay on our strong nodes and, and the rewards that they accumulate. And to answer that, I'll, I'll break it down into the two different, you know, types of nodes that are created on the Ethereum, you know, Service One contract. There isn't any talk of any further rewards decay um, for those nodes. However, if anything were to come up in the future, the strong community has told us and essentially promised that they will at least give us the notice and have a vote on from the community on how to best handle rewards decay on the old Ethereum 1.0 service contract nodes that are created. But as of right now, there are no decay, uh, further decay um, on those rewards for, for those only. Now, the Polygon service 2.0 contract nodes, those ones have the 
reward decay already in place, and the strong community is starting to call it reward taper as opposed to decay. It's probably just a little bit of a a marketing gimmick to to make you feel better about you know decay and the rewards on that. And and yes, those have already put been put in place. So what is out there is out there, and when you create the node, it's already built into it. And what we know so far about the rewards decay or the rewards taper for any nodes created on the service 2.0 contract such as polygon nodes would be that you would first be able to accumulate the rewards to get the return on your investment and then there would be the slight decay in the rewards uh, whatever that may be in order to preserve you know the the scarcity and the rarity of the token to keep to ensure that the price you know stays high as well but they, they are concerned and want to make sure that everyone does get the rewards back first and so I think that is a win on our end so that we at least recoup our costs and anything on top of that would just be that passive income or that money making uh, that we're all looking forward to doing okay and then the next question has to deal with being able to transfer the proof of ownership or the proof of your node from one wallet into another and there are many use cases that I can see for that. For example, if your wallet was compromised in some manner, um, then you might want to try and transfer your, your node ownership into a new account. Or maybe you have a friend or a family member that you want to gift a node to and so you create that and you want to send that. Or you just want to split up your, your different nodes across different wallets. Anyway, there's a lot of different use cases that I see for that. So far, the strong community ha doesn't really have a good answer for that. They, they pretty much mentioned that it's a complicated process due to the way the smart contracts are created in the different RPC endpoints. At the end of the day, however, they have said that they are working on some ideas, but it's going to be a long way out. So in the short term, don't plan on anything. Um, I don't expect anything for at least you know several months in, in that regard. And if you are having problems with your MetaMask and you're concerned about security, just make sure that you always keep your extension updated. You always use the proper websites and you don't click on any uh, funny things. Never give out your seed phrase to anyone. Um, those are almost always shams or phishing sites when, when you see that pop up. So be very diligent in protecting that secret passphrase. Don't store it on your mobile and like notepad or any of those kind of things that can be compromised, you know, by an attacker or a hacker, whoever it may be. And you can actually lock your MetaMask. So you should lock that. That should just be a best practice to secure your, your digital assets when you aren't using that. Because at the end of the day, this is your money. These are your funds. You got to keep them safe. Okay. And then back to the big question that everyone has been asking is, hey, is the strong community going to eventually release, you know, token rewards that are either native to the node that you have created or any other type of tokens other than strong and, you know, essentially build out your portfolio and your asset pool um, so that you aren't just, you know, hanging on the different strong. And the answer to that so far is the strong community is looking at very, very different financial approaches to that. They haven't had, you know, as much as much success as they have hoped, um, you know, such as the Polygon nodes, they didn't get enough rewards or a grant from from that chain in order to really produce those rewards for anyone creating those nodes. But they are looking at other ways, such as considering synthetic tokens, which can be used as rewards. And then as I did mention earlier, because it is on the service two contract, that already has the ability to claim rewards into a new pool or a node without having to pay those gas fees and those features will be coming in early 2022 so hopefully that means January when they release either the FTM and um, you know the ability for anyone without an NFT to go ahead and create those polygon nodes that's when I suspect it will be uh, but we'll keep you posted on that as well so hopefully more to come on that we all want those native tokens or any type of things other than strong to be uh, to be you know rewarded on our our blocks or our strong nodes that we create so we should be able to see something soon but it doesn't look like it's going to happen right away and the final question that i just wanted to answer today has to deal with the eth 2.0 staking 
not too many people have really asked about this, but there's a few of them out there. So I just wanted to address some of the things. A lot of people have noticed, hey, I'm staking ETH 2.0, but I'm not seeing any ETH rewards. So is it really working? Will it ever be released? Will ETH 2.0 ever come out? And the answer to that is yes, you are accumulating weight in the pool. And the, the way you're rewarded is your pool weight is going to be a combination of the amount of time and the amount of strong that you have staked in the ETH 2.0 uh, staking pool. Okay, so you, if, you, if you do want to go that route, you'll want to get in early and you'll want to hold and um, you'll want to have a lot of strong states because that will really combine to equal what your weight in that pool will be. And when it eventually comes out, you will, you'll be given a percentage of the total pool weight to determine your rewards. So essentially, yes, then you will be accumulating rewards. They just can't be claimed until they're finally re released with the ETH 2.0. Um, system and then I think the other the other question is probably like around the, the idea of like hey is there going to be any other you know pool staking other than ETH 2.0 and the answer is the strong community is also looking at other options for that so hopefully we'll see something on that as well um, they aren't releasing anything as far as answers to what those options might be, but they are at least exploring those, so stay tuned for that as well. Okay, well, that wraps that up then. Um, I'll just go ahead and just do a lightning bonus round, some cool things that are happening. So a lot of things with the strong community, one of the reasons why I do continue to, to be very bullish on them in the long term, and I believe that this project will have success um, over a period of, you know, long term is one, it has already been around for almost a year which is like a lifetime in the crypto community to they're also looking at adding a lot of other you know crypto projects to the ecosystem you know they they've talked about solana they've mentioned xrp and we've recently seen like matic join or polygon as it is we know ftm nodes are coming you know early 2022 as well so there's a lot of new things and things in the work and the pipe that that i believe are, are going to come and continue to build you know hype into the system and make people want to be a part of it and then the fact that they've burned a lot of their tokens and there is a limited supply and they're always concerned about the sustainability of the community i don't think that the price um you know is ever is ever going to go to a point where i wouldn't be making the rewards on any notes that i create and i feel like in the long term that is still a financial um you know good position for myself to make but as always do your own research i'm not a financial expert so um, make sure that you you talk to any of your your own professionals and, and you know make your your best choice based on what you believe i'm just trying to present some of the research that i have found you know my in my own personal opinions that I formulated based on what I know is out there um, but at the end of the day I do think that they've got some great things lined up and and some good things coming and uh, for me that that makes this project worth it and and the risk overall is you know lower than a lot of the other projects that are out there that don't have the same you know contracts that are out there and on that, if you look, they're even they're even interested in getting listed with some of major some of the major cryptocurrency exchanges. Uh, for example, check out this tweet recently by Coinbase. Um, Coinbase usually only tracks projects that they believe you know have great potential. And as you can see here, they're calling out strong and monitoring that. So for Coinbase to be able to watch that, that's a big deal. I know that KuCoin has also kept an eye. And they want to be able to see, you know, long-term use as well and how many wallets are holding and, and you know, the, the value of strong. So I think there's a lot of things in the work that when those start opening up that um, I, I believe, you know, my own personal opinion that we could see the, the price of strong, you know, just explode and uh, become very valuable for anyone that is getting into the project early, especially in any dips that you're seeing and, and getting in. While it's low, I think in the in the end, the return on investment for me is going to be you know a really great value, and I'm looking forward to that. So, all right, hang in there, strong army. Let's go.